The NBA draft consists of two rounds and a total of 60 players. After the draft, players can shop their talents around to any team in the league, but only a fraction will actually sign with an organization. This leaves many with a couple of options. Stop playing basketball, try playing in the developmental league, or play overseas. That's what Dustin Salisbury, guard for the Cheshire Phoenix in the United Kingdom, decided to do. My first couple years out of school, which was 07 and 08, I played in France. Uh, also played in uh, Germany, uh, the Dominican Republic. I was in Romania for a couple of months. Things didn't quite work out there. Um, I also played in Mexico, but it, it was a great journey. After his college career at Temple University from 2003 to 2007, Salisbury wasn't sure what would happen. He had completed NBA pre-draft camps, workouts, senior camps, and participated in the summer league with the Philadelphia 76ers. Shortly after, he was at home waiting to see if anything would happen when his agent gave him a call on a Friday. They said, we have a job for you in uh, France, and we leave on Monday. So that was a two-day notice. And I was, you know, as crazy it may, as it may sound, I was kind of upset because I wasn't used to, you know, making a decision to leave the country in, you know, two days. So that's the kind of thing that you have to be prepared for. Prior to coming to Cheshire, Salisbury played for the Delaware 87ers, spent six months in Australia, and played in Iceland. Although Salisbury makes money doing what he loves, the constant switching of teams and moving from country to country definitely takes its toll on him. It's tough uh, because I have a family, I have a fiance and two sons, so you know, family-wise it's just tough leaving those guys, and um, it's definitely a sacrifice. A lot of people think coming overseas is, is great, you make a lot of money and things like that, but there's a lot of hard work that goes into that, and um, there's a lot of situations. I mean, it's a lot of things that people don't actually know about the overseas spirit, experience that aren't as glamorous as, as what they think. After the season, Salisbury goes home and continues to work out, but it's really family time, he says. After basketball, he would like to work with kids. More specifically, the troubled youth, because he believes he could be a positive role model and mentor for them. But for now, he's still focused on basketball. I'm 30, and um, like I said, the talent-wise, I know I can do it, but it's just all about the timing, and the right situation, the right team, and, you know, being at that at right that right time at the right moment. So I'm just going to play as long as I can, as long as my body is, is healthy and um, I'm physically able to do it. For the view from TU. I'm Noe Garcia.